Do you know the difference between string, string builder and string buffer? First let's meet string class. It's immutable. It's like a superhero with unbreakable shield. Once you create it, it remains same forever. Just like writing your name in a stone. Imagine if we create string 1 is equal to code. Then Java will create an object in a string pool that cannot be modified. It's like writing something on a stone which is easy to read but impossible to modify. To add something new, we have to write the whole new word on the stone. However, this frequent rewriting can slow things down and can cause performance issues. Overcome this, Java developer designed a string builder class. It's like a shape shifter that can magically change itself. It's a mutable, so we can use append function to modify it. Concatenation happens in no time and we don't need to create clones. That's why string builder is faster than string class. String builder can't stand a chance in multi-threaded environment. It's not the thread set, meaning multiple threads cannot access it at the same time. To tackle this, Java developer introduced another class called string buffer class. It's like a guardian with a shield who can protect himself in multi-threaded environment and magically change itself. So string buffer is both thread safe and mutable. So which class should you use if you are working in multi-threaded environments and modifying the string frequently then go for string buffer. If you are working in single threaded environment and modifying the string frequently then go for string builder. If you don't want to modify strings value then go for string class. You can check out my video on immutable string for more information. Follow my channel for more such videos.